Hello besties and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video we are delving back into the Happy Home Paradise DLC. We are on to part 3 of decorating the Sanrio characters vacation homes which is at 12 but she is this character she is super freaking cute she is one of the sheep characters and I love her so much. She's just so colorful and very like fairy like so we're gonna go ahead and decorate her house today. I forgot to mention as well she's also referencing the Kiki and Lala character from Sanrio and all of the furniture items are just super Super, super freaking cute. Oh, she is just so cute. She looks like she's got little Christmas lights on her. I can't. A home for handicrafts. Oh, this could be really cute. I haven't really had, I kind of just wanted something really pastel, like fairy core like. Okay, as for like, oh, I kind of actually want to use this spot with the butterflies. I think this would look really cute. Might have to change it over to spring, um, but I still think that there is lots of potential and it could look really, really, really cute. Um, so as always with this series, we're going to be giving all the characters a two level home. How's yes? Okay, so we're going to go and decorate this house and I'm really excited to do this one. Hello! Okay, so not going to lie, out of all of the houses, I was most excited to do a Twelve's house. She's definitely my favorite out of all of the Sanrio characters. As I had, oh, I had so much fun doing this one. It was very out of my, I feel like all of these are really out of my comfort zones, but I have a lot of fun with them. Um, so to start off the outside, I started using a bunch of the new paths that I had saved. Um, I have essentially, after uploading my five star island video, I went and started terraforming my island. So I decided that it was time for some new paths. Um, I had like, I think 20 or 30 slots dedicated to like just the path, like the one um, you can see here. And I was over, I wanted so much more space. Now I have like six or seven slots for the path and it's great. There's not as much extra decorating bits for it, but I like it more. So we very much went with like a fairy core theme. I tried to keep it really fairy core on this one. So yeah, we just did all the like glowing moss and stuff out the front. Um, um, a really cute little area and I, I finally had a butterfly in my inventory to release it into the wild. It's my first time doing that. It's a really cool little feature. Um, sad that I couldn't get the money for the butterfly though, but you know, you know what it is. Uh, <laughs> but it's oh, so, so much fun this build was. It was so much fun. What is everyone's favorite? Everyone's got to let me know in the comments below what your favorite of the Sanrio characters are. Um, I think I like Marty and Etoile the best. They're probably my favorites, I think. I think that's that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> uh, I also really want to fight uh, Nintendo again. Besties, I just I got some recommendations. Let me help you. <laughs> um, I wish we had half pet, um, half partition walls. I really wanted a partition wall, but I didn't want it to cover like one was too little, two was too much. So I ended up just going with countertops and having like a more open space. So it worked out, but we've got this cute little like workshop area down here. Um, I did just like pretty much I go into like the story and what I envision that a twelve is, but I wanted to keep it like very like cluttered workspace in a sense but still fairly clean um so that's what happened but with lots of lots of cute bright colors we changed everything over to like pink white and purple uh and that's what happened also on a side note the freaking etoile sanrio character um like poster so it comes with etoile all of the sorry all of the sanrio ones come with uh like the character and then like a custom poster the uh, kiki and lala one oh my god this is so freaking cute it is probably the cutest poster i have ever seen <laughs> um and then i was just messing around with some lights here but this is pretty much downstairs I didn't spend as long upstairs. I ended up making like a really small area, just like a bedroom. Um, but I did end up doing the bedroom as the showcase because I, I thought it looked cuter. In my opinion, it was really just like fairy core and everything. So I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, but I, I think the Kiki, obviously like it's wild, it's definitely my favorite. But I think the Kiki and Lala furniture is my favorite. Either that or the cinnamon roll stuff. It's just all so, I don't know, I just love San Maria. I love San Maria, I can't. I'm actually gonna hopefully be getting good Atama nails at some point. Um, and I'm very, very excited about it. I've had uh, Karomi nails beforehand and I really like doing the San Maria nails. I think that they're just so much fun. But we're coming to the near the end of this build. Uh, this is just me making the room size a bit smaller, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Okay, we are done with this house. I really like it. This is the upstairs bedroom. We sort of went with a really like, obviously Kiki and Lala, but like kind of fairy theme. I feel the backstory that I've given Etoile is that she is a 
wannabe seamstress. She has been working hard on her craft outside of work. She's still got her work uniform and everything up there. She's still got to go do her nine to five grind, but she loves all things cute. And she really wants to make cute clothing for the whole world. So this is her little cute little bedroom. She's got lots of toys and stuff over here. It's a very like fairy cool vibe. A little seat here so she can put her shoes on, a little makeup vanity and everything. And we'll get this going because it's the cutest thing ever and so that's the upstairs area up here and the downstairs area I, I don't think is as cute it's still really cute but it's definitely more like functional in a way so yeah down here we've got this big old loom with some pretty fabric on it little tv with some cute furniture and some more toys around and then a couple of fashion clothes pieces and then she's got all of her sewing stuff over here and some of her designs that she's made um and then here i've just got like some cute cookies and then like uh the rest of her like sewing stuff instead of using it for like kitchen supplies and then a cute little kitchen in here and a cute little pink tv so very pink and purple cutesy vibes but that's that's the theme is she's a wannabe seamstress and wants to make cute clothes for the world but she's still got to go do her nine to five daily job grind i don't know if i'll show her downstairs i might show her upstairs i kind of like upstairs a little bit more it's a it's really cute and just really comfy and cozy so we'll show you this one it's all done bestie i really really love all the kiki and lala furniture it's just so cute and adorable I love it so freaking much, so I was really happy to finally do Etoile's house. Here we go, home for handicrafts. I guess this room doesn't really look like a handicraft room, but it's still, you know, where she vibes. Great photo. The back of the bed is so cute though. Yes, here we go. This is really pretty. Oh, she's so cute. Hi! <laughs> this is also a really cute photo op. Oh, I love her. <laughs> Doo -doo. So freaking cute. Okay, we'll quickly save the photo. Just the regular old deal and then we'll head on back. I think I will use... Oh, see the first one? I wish I waited two seconds longer. If it was clipped off, it would have looked cuter. Uh, This is like, if you ever take two photos, this is always the hardest decision to ever make. I'll make this one because you can kind of see more, or you see more of it well, instead of just like the back end of the room. And people can always come tour this one if they want to. Okay, we'll head on back for now. I'll see you Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like and feel free to subscribe if you aren't already. But on that note, I will see all of you on my next video. Bye everybody.